personally, this, and I don't like making forecasts, stuff like that, I am not a buyer of credit today. Okay, I think credit today is a bad risk. I think that people who haven't been through major downturns uh, are miss, missing the point about what can happen in credit. And then there will be a huge opportunity for this company, too. That's the other thing about downturns. You know, in a downturn, uh, you know, my experience has always been the good companies benefit from a downturn. You know, not your short-term profits, but your long-term uh, company, and you earn your stripes with your, with your clients in a downturn. I look at the things being up, including trade, trade in general, because not just tariffs, is creating a lot of risk out there, and that you we should be prepared for it. My own view is you, you know, where people feel pretty good because you haven't seen an effect of tariffs. The market came down 10%, it's back up 10%. I think that's an extraordinary amount of complacency. That's my own view. That when I've seen all these things adding up that are, that are on the fringes of extreme kind of thing, I don't think we could predict the outcome, and I think the chance of inflation going up and stagflation is a little bit higher than other people think. When Jamie Dimon talks, smart money listens. And what he just said? Yeah, it should make every investor sit up and rethink their whole game plan. If credit's getting risky, inflation's here to stay, and the market's basically sleepwalking into stagflation. Where the heck do you put your money? Well, don't panic. Because today, I've got three stocks that aren't just built to survive a downturn. They might actually thrive if Diamond's warning hits home. Let's break it down. But first, if that sounds like your kind of edge, destroy the like button, share the video, subscribe if you are new or yet to, and turn on notifications so you stay updated with latest insight on disruptive companies you won't hear about on mainstream finance shows. And just so we're clear, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It's for educational and informational purposes only. Always do your own research and make decisions based on your risk profile. With that said, let's dive in. You won't want to miss this. All right, let's talk Tesla ticker TSLA. Because while Jamie Dimon's warning paints a stormy macro picture, there may still be clear skies ahead for investors who know where to look. The U.S. auto industry isn't just facing speed bumps. It's navigating potholes the size of policy shifts, a 25% tariff on imported cars and parts, a 30% tax still lingering on Chinese goods, and the cherry on top? A Republican-led charge against EV subsidies and emission standards. Add it all up, and S&P Global just slashed its 2025 vehicle sales forecast by 700,000 units. That's not a soft landing. That's a hard break. Even consumer sentiment is cooling. High-speed charger installations dropped over 21% in Q1, and Bloomberg Neff trimmed its U.S. charging estimates by 20%. Plus, Tesla's reputation, once excellent, just fell to poor in Axios's Harris poll. Ouch. Yet, here's where value investors lean in. While the headlines scream sell, smart money smells opportunity. Cantor Fitzgerald just reiterated its buy rating on Tesla with a price target of $425. That's nearly double where it traded a month ago. Why? Because underneath the short-term noise, Tesla's long-term engine is revving louder than ever. Robotaxis launch in June, affordable EV debut this summer, Humanoid robot coming by 2027, Tesla Semi entering production in 2026, China driving software already live. And yes, Elon Musk says he's back to focusing on Tesla. That's not just hype. Those are near-term catalysts with potentially massive long-term tailwinds. In fact, Tesla has surged 49% in the past month. And while it's still down over the last three months, the rebound is real and driven by more than memes or Musk tweets. Even tariff risk? Tesla might just navigate it better than most. Reuters reports that U.S.-China tensions are cooling, allowing Tesla to resume key component shipments for the CyberCab and Semi, just in time for production. Plus, Tesla's board is exploring a new incentive plan for Musk, which could eliminate lingering uncertainty about his leadership and long-term alignment. So, is Tesla a perfect stock in this environment? No, but value isn't found in perfection. It's found in misunderstood potential. And if stagflation sets in, automation, energy efficiency, and self-driving logistics aren't just luxury innovations, they become cost-saving necessities. For long-term investors with conviction, Tesla's recent pain could be setting up one of the most asymmetric opportunities on the market. Now, if Tesla's real-world automation plays are one way to hedge against economic slowdown, this next company takes us to the edge of science fiction and turns it into hard revenue. Meet D-Wave Quantum, QBTS the world's first commercial supplier of quantum computers, 
and the only company building both annealing and gate model quantum systems. Translation? They're not just part of the quantum race, they're leading it. And this week, they just fired the starting gun. Shares of D-Wave soared over 27% after the company launched its sixth-generation quantum platform, Advantage 2. This isn't an incremental upgrade, it's a massive leap. We're talking over 4,400 qubits, 40,000-plus couplers, and a brand-new Zephyr topology that boosts 20-way connectivity. That's not just jargon. It means the system can solve problems that even Exascal GPU supercomputers can't touch. CEO Alan Baratz called it a milestone not just for D-Wave, but for the entire quantum computing industry. And here's the key. This isn't a lab demo or vaporware. It's already generating real results right now. Advantage 2 is already live, available in 40-plus countries via D-Wave's cloud offers, 99.9% .9 uptime, sub-second latency, and enterprise-grade security used by over 100 organizations, including 25 global 2000 firms. And the financials? Forget about blue sky speculation. This thing is printing money. Q1 2025 revenue, 15 MLs. Up over 500% year-over-year gross profit, 13.9 MLs. Thanks to a high-margin quantum system sale, Cash reserves, 304 MARS, the highest in company history. 133 total customers, including 69 commercial enterprises. D-Wave isn't just building next-gen computing, it's turning that tech into enterprise sales. And in a market where value investors crave real-world utility and revenue growth, that's a powerful edge. But it doesn't stop there. D-Wave recently demonstrated quantum supremacy, solving a material science problem in minutes something classical computers would need millions of years to complete. They're also rolling out a quantum-powered blockchain hashing solution that could cut energy usage by up to 1,000-fold. And Wall Street is waking up. Benchmark's David Williams just raised his price target from $8 to $14, calling it the most significant quarter in D-Wave's history. The average analyst target now sits around $12.60, with upside still in play from today's levels. Here's the bottom line. Quantum computing is no longer a science project, and D-Wave is proving that it's a viable, scalable business. With a real product, real revenue, and real institutional interest, QBTS is transitioning from experimental tech play to essential infrastructure. If Jamie Dimon is right, and we're heading into a world where traditional models break down, then breakthrough computation isn't just a luxury, it's a lifeline. Now, let's talk about a company that's already a titan in the tech world, yet still has room to grow, especially with AI at the center of everything. NVIDIA ticker NVDA. Dominating the AI gold rush, NVIDIA is now the second largest company in the world with a market cap of $3.3 trillion. And according to projections, it's on a fast track toward a $5 trillion valuation in just the next few years. How? Two words, accelerated computing. From powering your favorite PC games to enabling artificial intelligence breakthroughs like ChatGPT, NVIDIA has consistently led disruptive tech trends for over three decades. But what's fueling this next leg of growth? It's NVIDIA's near monopoly in AI GPUs, where it holds a staggering 92% market share in data centers. Its GPUs have become the backbone of AI training infrastructure for cloud giants, government agencies, and enterprises alike. In Q1 of fiscal 2026, NVIDIA is expected to rake in $43 billion in revenue, up 65% year-over-year, driven by explosive demand for data center chips. Compare that to AMD, which grew at 36% with just $7.4 billion in sales. NVIDIA's dominance is not only intact, it's accelerating. According to Technavio, the global GPU market is set to grow by $388 billion between now and 2028, and NVIDIA stands ready to capture a lion's share, especially since it already commands over 80% of the PC GPU market. Even if NVIDIA's share slips slightly to 70%, it could still pull in $270 billion on a new revenue, putting it on a trajectory toward $400 billion annually by fiscal 2028. That could give the company a $5 trillion valuation, even at a conservative 13x sales multiple. But this story isn't just about market size, it's also about strategic control. NVIDIA's deep ties with TSMC, the world's most advanced chip foundry, give it unrivaled access to cutting-edge silicon. In fact, NVIDIA is expected to consume 77% of TSMC's AI chip capacity this year, up from 51% last year, ensuring tight grip over supply while competitors scramble. What's more, 
NVIDIA sees a $1 trillion opportunity in transforming data centers from CPU-based to GPU-accelerated computing, a shift that promises faster processing and huge energy savings amid soaring electricity needs from AI workloads. And here's a wild card. President Trump recently announced executive orders to extend the life of coal-fired plants to support AI's growing power demands. While the tech sector prefers renewables and natural gas, the fact that national energy policy is now being shaped around AI data centers shows just how crucial NVIDIA's chips have become to national infrastructure. So what does that mean for you? If you missed NVIDIA at $100, $500, or even $1,000 a share, the train might not have left the station yet. With a robust product roadmap, near-total GPU dominance, and explosive demand from AI, gaming, and data center markets, NVIDIA is arguably still just getting started. NVIDIA may be trading at just around $130 today, but don't let the price fool you. That's after its 10-for-1 stock split. The company's $3.3 trillion market cap still makes it the second most valuable company in the world. All three of these stocks, Tesla, D-Wave, and NVIDIA, are riding the exponential wave of AI and quantum innovation. While each comes with its level of risk and maturity, they offer investors exposure to the future of computing, intelligence, and energy transformation. Whether you're betting on autonomous energy and robotics with Tesla, next-gen quantum computing with D-Wave, or the Silicon Empire powering AI with NVIDIA, one thing's clear. The AI revolution is just beginning. So what do you think? Which of these stocks has the most significant upside potential? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more smart investing insights in the age of AI.